sure are talking nonsense. What are you talking about dreaming for? One up in your peers isn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> What's with you? Did you melt your brain? They can laugh at us all they want. Because when you aim high, you often come across fights that just aren't worth fighting. This is it. That's the first we one. We in now. We in this motherfucker, man. We out here, we just sipping some motherfucking coffee. Hey, what is this again? Where's it from? It's that Mexican mocha with oat milk from Baba Coffee. Oh, damn. From, from the kid looking at it. Oh, my but, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Um, this is the start. This is the start of something big. I know right now we just we in a random ass table, talking for real. Um, but if there's a will, there's a way. Eventually, we're gonna have a setup. We're gonna have a podcast. We're gonna have all that shit. Uh huh. But right now, we just talking, bro. We just talking, Good. and I appreciate y'all if y'all clicked on this. We just two. We just two kids. Two kids exactly. thinking big. Yeah. Thinking yeah. big. Thinking big. Thinking big. Yeah. I'm Mario. I'm Dane. How old are we? We're, we 20. We're 20. We 20. Up here, I'm like 45. Though. <laughs> nah, 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 we 20. We 20. Um, I, I'm, uh, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to uh, want to make clothes. I want to do something with coffee. I like podcasts. I'm excited for this motherfucking life, mm-hmm. though, real talk. Mm-hmm. But what you trying to do? Man, I got I got a couple of different things on my mind, you know? I, mm-hmm. I kind of want to be invest, invested with real estate in some way. Um, I want to take a physical journey through my mm-hmm. life, and whether it's through different sports or different activities, you know, try to... Uh, I'm still learning what I like and what I don't like or what I'm taking interest in, so I like to see my way through that also you know it'd be cool to to get into a podcast you know guess what? that's what we're doing right now i know like um i mean my thing it was always hold on should we take these off and get more intimate pause 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 pause, pause, pause. no 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 but um my thing is so i always wanted to do youtube shit mm-hmm. But one, I was scared. I was scared, like, I might be clowning myself. Mm-hmm. But two, I was like, I need a camera. I need mm-hmm. this. I need ideas. Yeah. But the truth is, you just got to fucking do it. You yeah. just got to do it. Get the ball rolling, bro. Mm-hmm. And um, I know with the podcast, it's like, I don't know. People, I don't know. I feel like people might clown us. But at the same time, that's we shouldn't fine. give a fuck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Care. And like that, that's always going to happen at the beginning of something, you know what I mean? So you yeah. just kind of you just kind of got to block out the noise and, you know, focus on yourself. Because like how you're talking about the the whole YouTube thing, um, how like you're talking about, oh, like I'm going to need a camera, a microphone, or, you know, how am I going to make time for editing and yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, like you just got to... You just kind of, you know, you just got to kind of free willy it yeah, at the beginning. Sense. Do it. You know what I mean? And so, and I mean, that that's how you get involved in the process. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, you just kind of got to not think about it for, in some ways. And yeah. then you just kind of got to go for it. Yeah, I mean, my mentality was, and I told you this before, but, uh, so I journal, right? You both journal. Mm-hmm. But... A week before 19, I mean, a week before 20, I was like, listen, I'm about to turn 20 years old. What the hell are we going to start doing? We're going to have yeah. to start this empire. And really what it is is that you just got to try. Mm-hmm. So my first video, I went to Vegas for my... Well, I already had videos up. Yeah. But that was just like, I didn't care. I'm just doing this shit just to do it, whatever. But once... Once I uploaded the Vegas video when I turned 20, I'm like, hey, it's time, it's time to start grinding, dog. Yeah. It's time to start grinding. I'm like, the only really person that can stop myself is myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so I write in my journal. I'm like, listen, I'm turning 20. It's time to start the motherfucking empire. And that way, when I'm 24, 25, I already put four or five years into the game. Exactly. Yeah. And 
And now, listen, now I'm at 213 subscribers. I got almost 50 videos up. <laughs> Shit's going good. Um, and I'm just happy that I started. And the way I think about it, and like, I'm gonna look back, like let's just say when I'm up, actually let's not say when I'm up, right? I'm gonna look back at these videos and be like, damn, this is the shit I was doing at 20, man. Right? And I'm like, I'm gonna clown myself obviously to look at the like the editing from the yeah, from yeah. the quality of the video, but it's the okay. fact that I'm like, there was a, there was a start to it, uh -huh. and this is how I feel like we're doing this right now is. Just, we don't have the, the setup, we don't have the idea, we don't have the concepts mm -hmm. that the shit that we want to do, but we're starting. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even just like as people, because I know, I know oftentimes like we think we're, we're at our best, like whether it's with our looks, you know, what, how we dress, how we look, like facial features wise yeah. or phys physically or how our hair is, and mm. our facial hair and whatnot, and then like in five years from now or whatever, we're going to look back and be like, just, yeah. I look goofy as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. basically, um, I don't know where I'm really going with this, but like, nah, it's, it's like, it's it's kind of like adds to the fact of the of like the whole YouTube thing. How like, like when you're up, mm. and then you look back, and you're like, man, like, everything was so much different. Like yeah. I thought I had it all figured out, and then reality, like you, you really don't. Well, I'm like, Sorry, cause you, I'm. You know how you just brought up reality. Uh -huh. I'm kind of scared because I haven't been checked yet. I feel like um, obviously my life wasn't. My life hasn't been like handed to me. I've been. I, I like. I don't know how I'm trying to say this. Basically, I'm scared because right now I'm still my like my pops. I'm still living with my pops. He doesn't charge me rent. <laughs> he doesn't. Um, he doesn't make me. There's like there's a lot of shit that he doesn't make me pay for. Yeah, like yeah, I pay, yeah. I got bills, I got gas, mm -hmm. I do car, all that. But what I'm scared is that when reality checks in, like when shit hits the fan, uh -huh. and I gotta start making money on myself. Yeah, I'm not gonna have this mentality that like, oh, I can do this YouTube thing. I can do this. like I'm, I can have no, the I mentality. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, I can't, I can't take time on my day to record and edit when I gotta work to pay rent. So I'm scared in that aspect because. Thankfully, I haven't had the circumstances have to, haven't been like that bad for yeah, me to uh -huh. just give up everything and just mm -hmm. work just to survive another day. Mm -hmm. So that's something I had to learn because when I would talk to people and they were telling me that like they're, they're just oh they just want to work they just want to do this yeah, uh -huh. I would kind of like knock I would not say knock them but I'm like bro think big think big yeah think yeah big. And we were just talking about this other day yeah, too like, how like you know we we often we think people aren't aren't choosing big enough ambitions for themselves or or they're they're doing something that they don't they'd rather not be doing and it's not because the reasons that we think it is it's it's because they can't like they're yeah, really they really to. can't yeah mm -hmm. and so whether it's they don't have the financials or they don't have the free time for it or it's with uh mental challenges that they are facing in that moment in time or issues with their family that they're having and so you know yeah it's kind of hard uh for like us to look at it in that kind of perspective since like since we both we've had like, a good so yeah far. we've yeah, had a good, had a good so, so, far. so yeah like um you know because oftentimes like I'll, I'll get in my own head and i'm like you know, oh like man life is hard or you know i'm like why that like, i feel like i should be happier when in reality like man i gotta I got it so much uh, easier. <laughs> I got it so much easier than like so many other people around, and, and that's just like in America too. We aren't even like expanding like mm. outside of the border. So like you know, kids Shit. who are in the middle of the fucking worse. jungle yeah. or the desert or whatnot, and they don't even know what yeah. a lot of things are, whether it's like the internet or whatnot. So I feel you. I feel you. And but do you also feel that to a certain point. Is that like, should we even, because like, like I said, my life is my life. Yeah. Your life is your life, uh -huh. right? If we should, should, should we think like, about should, that. Should we even think about, like, obviously you can show empathy. You can, you can understand where they're coming from. Uh -huh. But just because, I don't know what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like, it's like you should, should, I feel should I feel bad for myself? 
because I don't because I don't have a bad. Yeah. You see what I'm kind no, of saying? I, I do get what you mean. Yeah, because. Oh no, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. <laughs> Alright, we fixed that shit. See, bro, but when we have a setup, they should go for right now. They ain't gonna clown us, bro. Yeah, for right gonna clown now. us, and we got a setup now. <laughs> no, but we're gonna look back at this and be like, damn, this motherfucker fell, bro, and then. We're, we're reacting to it in our like in our podcast room. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Not the za. <laughs> <laughs> but um, shit. What were we talking about? It, it was about how. Oh, oh. If if you should feel like bad Pity. for yourself for for not being for not yeah, yeah for. Because uh, what I was gonna say is like oh. Uh, <laughs> No, we'll cut this off right now. So weird. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah. <laughs> Get fucking canceled. Nah, I'm missing um, who's finna spit game. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at that point. The whole rest. <laughs> All right, resume, resume, resume. All right. Look at me. Nah, but we were talking about is if I should feel pity in a sense because... Uh, other people have it bad and I don't. So, I guess, I don't know. But to a certain extent, do you feel like, because there's a lot of motherfuckers that are not in the in the spot where they're like, damn, I have to work. Don't get me wrong, there there are a lot of people. But like, yeah. I, like my friends that like, they got it for the most part, they got it good. Mm -hmm. But they still don't want to think big. Yeah, uh-huh. So, to a certain point, it's like, Nah, fuck that, dog. I'm gonna I'm a think big on my dreams, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they might be grinding hard. Like, I fight this with myself, too. It's like, I see my friends, they got, they bought new cars, they bought this, they bought that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not getting my bag up because I'm too, I'm spending time on making videos, editing videos. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense, they're working hard towards whatever they got right now. Uh -huh. And I'm working hard for my dream. But uh -huh. the problem with that is I'm not making money right now. Yeah, but... So but that's the thing, it's like, yeah. is in order to achieve your dream, a lot of the times, you got to sacrifice, uh, you got to sacrifice making money now in order to make money in the future, mm -hmm. or you got to sacrifice time now in order to have time in the future, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people, what they could do is, they could work a, I don't want to say mediocre, but they could work, um some type of job or some type of uh, they can have some type of living where they're not they don't like what they're doing extremely ambitious oh, okay, or, okay, or, right, right, right. And, and like uh, they'll kind of be in the same on the same like time schedule that they are right now that they will be in the future you know what I mean where they wake up they make a cup of coffee and then they go straight to straight work. to work you know come back at 5pm or whatever and then they just eat dinner and go to sleep you know what I mean and like, just like routine. I'm not saying there's something wrong with that but I know for me personally, and I don't really want that. Like, unless it's something fun, like, no lie. Like, if it's something that I'm happy uh -huh. with doing and, and, like, I get to have fun with it and I'm, and I'm not, like, I'm not going to work, you know, I'm sitting in a cubicle somewhere. Yeah. I got to re respond to my boss, you know what I mean? Like, well, it also depends if that's, it also depends your ambitions. For example, uh -huh. I might look at that. Okay, let's just put it like this. If a person wanted to own their own store at the side of the corner, mm -hmm. and that's what they've always wanted to do when they were a kid, yeah. then that's admirable. Because I'd yeah, be like, that's what exactly. you want to yeah, do. That yeah. was your dream, uh -huh. right? So I wouldn't look at him like, I'm knocking you down because you didn't. Because he followed his dream, right? Yeah, what yeah. I'm doing right now, too. Uh -huh. So I guess we also got to look at it that way. That... Uh, yeah, that we, we shouldn't knock people down if they follow the dream. To me, it's like... Yeah, exactly. To me, it's like if you automatically, before... If you don't even try, to me, that's when I'm like, bro, like, come on. Bro. Like, you can yeah, try. Yeah. You can exactly. do this. Yeah, yeah. I, I really, really think the only motherfucker that can stop us is me. And I and I, I say this a that's lot. That's true. But where would you... Like, when did you start having this mentality switch? This change? I would say when I was...
point, like... Right here acting like we were grown at. Like, well, yeah, I know, yeah, 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 We're like, only yeah, 20, yeah, like, this like, shit. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, uh, I would say a, a couple... <laughs> 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 I'm not done 30 yet. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, maybe a couple months before he turned 20. Uh, oh, so recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, uh, that's part of it. Because mm. a, big, a big thing was like, because I started my real estate course, uh, <clears throat> like right around the turn, right around the time I turned 19. Mm. But like, we talked about this the other day, how I would just, I would just work. I come home and I fucking smoke, and I wouldn't do I wouldn't do anything, and I and I would tell people that I'm doing this, I'm doing that. In reality, I'm not really doing that. It was more so just something to, uh, that I thought that I I don't know if I want to say like that I thought that I wanted, but I didn't. But it did you feel I like really you had a sense of like? It. Did you feel like you had a sense of like like you letting people know? you're doing something so they know that you're moving instead of you're just staying stagnant or you didn't really care about what they believed in it was just something you just said just to say it was it was both it was both because i know i was insecure about it and I'm, i still am insecure mm. about a lot of things but uh it would also in a way like like you just said it, it would kind of like i don't know if it'd be like a stress reliever like uh like it make me feel a little bit better about myself, mm. like saying that. But yeah, and then and then that just that happened for a while, like a year. I would just do that shit, and I wasn't really. I was kind of blaming a lot of things that I was doing on. On, maybe other people or or shit that really I I should have been taking control of, but I wasn't. And so after a while, then I, I kind of started recognizing that. I was like, man, what am I doing? And I, it didn't feel good. And yeah. I wasn't happy with where I was in a lot of in a lot of places. Like mentally, that was bit, that was probably the biggest thing. I was yeah. not happy with where I was mentally. Mm -hmm. And so I did a couple I did a couple things to counter that. And then like physically, also, for the longest time, I just worked out at home, and I only had I only had. A couple I only had like two sets of dumbbells and like a lot of the stuff I would do I was doing I would just routinely do and I would do over and over again and so around maybe a month or two before I turned 20 I, I got a gym membership right. my buddy talked me into getting a gym membership and so that that was a big that changed a lot of things as well because not only was it like a new step in life but also I could uh physically wise I could do a lot more things and that also helped me learn a lot more things and going uh like gym wise and then also going to the gym then i was able to meet others who could bless me with more information mm -hmm. on how i can improve myself and that got you interested in looking deeper in a sense like looking yeah like self-improvement start searching that up on youtube start or whatever you did yeah because because well part of it yeah because like the algorithms on on like youtube or tiktok and whatnot nowadays is they're so complex like they know what you like so like for example when i started going to the gym mm -hmm. i was scrolling on tiktok or whatever it, then i started noticing that i was i was looking i was liking all these gym tiktoks or i started viewing them a lot more and then through that then it started giving me uh then it started giving me videos like information based on on like tips on how to improve my diet or what i should do whether i should be gaining weight or losing weight or what i i i might be doing wrong whether it's like form wise with weights that i could be improving or use in a different way so it's uh so like that helped a lot but also it was just it was just something new because oftentimes when I'm in a part of life that I'm not, uh, where I feel like I'm stagnant or where I'm, I'm unhappy or where I'm not really, I feel like I'm not making progress. A, a big thing that will happen is one day I'll just, I'll kind of do something a little bit differently or I might try something new. And then that just opens, it opens my mind a lot more. And oftentimes I, I like, um, I don't know why, but I, I don't take, 
I don't, I don't want to say I don't take those opportunities, but I don't find those opportunities often. I wish me. Like, like I don't. Like you don't. Play I don't yourself. try. I don't try to go out. And. You don't put yourself in the situation that you can finally, I guess you don't put yourself in the situation where you can experience whatever you're talking about. Yeah, I would say like, that's a good yeah, because like um. So for example, I, like, I'll like overthink it a lot. Oh, okay. I would say. Like, um, cause the, the thing with, with like going to the gym was I was insecure. I was insecure about the way I looked. A big thing was I was, I didn't want to look stupid while I was doing exercises, mm. like while mm. I was doing it wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. And like a, a really cool thing about that is like, I'm still, there's still some things I'll, I'll do. I won't do with the gym cause I don't want to look stupid or whatnot, yeah. but then like, like um, a big thing was just simple shit, like like doing squats, like with mm. a barbell. Yeah. Like I thought I would look stupid, or I wouldn't be doing it right, yeah. or like I didn't, you know, I wouldn't know how to approach it correctly, or what amount of weight I should put on. But once I started getting into that, and I only did it like one or two times, mm. then I started. It kind of opened up like something new. It felt like a new yeah. path that I could I could take in life, and even if it's just something so small like that. Uh-huh. So would you say that because would you say that because you got interested into working out, it totally switched everything? It did. I, maybe not everything, but it it changed a huge part of my life mm-hmm. because because I was in a place in life where I was going to college out of state. And I came back from college. And I wasn't really doing anything. Like I didn't have a job. Yeah. I I didn't work out or anything. And I was I was drinking more than I usually did at the time mm-hmm. or do. Mm-hmm. And like I was also smoking, but I wasn't I wasn't really doing anything at home. I, I was just sitting on my fucking phone all day. Yeah. And so, and then I don't know what really sparked it. I think what sparked it was I just like I was just looking at myself in the mirror one day. I was just like unhappy with what I was saying. I was like, man, something's got to change. And like a big thing, a really big issue I have is starting things. Mm -hmm. And because oftentimes I'll overthink it or most of the time what will happen is I'll start it. I'll do it one, maybe two times and then I'll forget about it or or not forget about it, but I just won't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that was, especially with working out, that was probably one of the hardest challenges is because when I started working out, I could only do three push-ups. That was it. I could only do yeah. three. Mm-hmm. And now I could do, like, 50. And so that, that was, uh, like, that was a huge challenge. Yeah, I mean, like, ah. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it's just stuff like that. And oft- oftentimes I'll just get into my own head and I'll be like, man, I... You can't think about it too hard. You just mm. got to do it. Yeah. You know, it's, it is kind of uh, touch base on uh, what we talked about earlier with, or, or what you were talking about. The YouTube thing? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so yeah, that. But um, also, I kind of wanted, I, I kind of wanted to talk about how earlier you were talking about how if you should feel bad for yourself mm-hmm. because you, you're, you're not in the same situation as somebody else. And so, if... I feel like that that really uh, that really connects with the idea that you should not compare yourself to others because you you didn't have the same I know we didn't have the same childhood mm-hmm. or you and a, anybody else didn't yeah. have the same childhood yeah y'all or you guys are not where you're at right now or you might be different you know different ages different heights and ways different you guys are mentally different. You know, so you, you really the the thing you gotta like we not you but everybody should do is, is just focus on themselves and yeah. not compare yourself to others but compare it to yourself how you were back then or yeah. in the past. Yeah, and I like how you said the um, like not everybody has the same childhood because uh-huh. right away when I think of that, I think of the financial aspect of it. But truth is, someone might be hello got everything fed to them, uh-huh. right? But they didn't have that close group of friends. So now yeah. they're like, fuck, I don't have a friend that I can kick it with uh-huh. or whatever. So I like how you brought that up. 
but uh, to top off on that pause, <laughs> to top off on that um, moment of realization or the mindset change, you would just say that you looked at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I'm unhappy and there's something that you need to change about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, sorry, but like, uh, mm. I remember, I remember like two to three weeks after I started working out, I took a picture of myself in the mirror. Mm. And I had a pump, and it, it was like I think it was like one of the first times I'd ever gotten a pump in the gym, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or just sorry, a pump from working out. Yeah, I remember I took a picture of myself. You know, I put on like my spam account on Instagram or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like a couple weeks ago, I saw that picture. I was like, dude, like I don't know why I posted that or uh, why not. Yeah, and, yeah. And it, but it just goes to show that like to myself how much I've changed and how much I've improved mm -hmm. because back then I used to think that oh my like, I was a shit man like mm -hmm. like man I look so good right now yeah, but yeah. then I look at that I look at myself which was me almost two years ago now and I'm like man like I can't believe I let myself look like that or I let myself mm, go to okay. that point or I can't believe mm -hmm. I I looked at myself with that same I with that uh difference in ideology you know what I mean yeah well, I mean, I mean, there's a start to everything, right? Yeah. There's a start to everything. Uh, but the good thing is that you realized it. And the good thing is that there's people that are, might be watching this right now where they feel like they're unhappy with themselves, but they didn't do nothing about it. They haven't started the progress. Mm -hmm. Even though they have, because we have so much fucking information online. Yeah. So much podcast. There's a podcast. Everybody's got a podcast. Yeah, right, yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And they're sharing their gems, and people are watching this, and they're watching this, and they know that that's a gem. They know they should be doing that, but they don't do it. Exactly, and I'm, and, I'm guilty about that too. Uh -huh. like, but, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. But uh, you also realize that uh, you weren't doing shit, right? That's what yeah. you said. That you didn't weren't doing shit. I felt like, from my moment of realization and where I started my mindset change, was that the, during the pandemic. So actually, no. I was class twenty. It was class twenty twenty. Pandemic hit. Uh, daily life for me as a eighteen year old was go to school, after school, uh, rather a go to work, at in and out, or b um, go home, eat and then fall asleep, and then wake up, hit the gym at night. And when I was hitting the gym, I was just running. It wasn't. I I wasn't lifting weights, no nothing. But when the pandemic hit, and we were forced to lock down, and school finished. First off, I was bummed about the whole prom thing and all that. I was bummed that we didn't get our senior year because that's I, like we lost all the experiences. Yeah. But I realized now my now my daily routine now was I'm just home all day scrolling on my motherfucking uh -huh. phone, yeah. bro. I was uh -huh. just scrolling all day on my phone. And yeah, I'd go to work, but it was work and then phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so I just found myself like, man, what am I? I remember I remember just laying down. I started feeling like shit too. I was like, "What am I doing, dog? Like, I'm not doing nothing." And then um, I, I started walking. I started walking, and while I was walking, I'm like, "Dude, I need to change this." I'm like, "Cause I started walking, cause I, I walked the beach. And I'm like, this is the first time I ever kind of got outside and walked the beach. Uh -huh. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And we live so close. We, we in Cali, and we live so close to the beach." And I, I took all that shit for granted. Granted, but the point I'm trying to make here was that I'm like, all right, bro, I need to start doing shit, right? Yeah. So I searched up. I remember a lot of people would watch podcasts, but they uh, podcasts started getting kind of big. And I'm like, I'm not a podcast guy. But I'm like, you know what? Let me go on this Joe Rogan thing. And I was searching. I just searched up Joe Rogan, and I found Kevin Hart. And I'm like, oh, this is about to be a funny one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I watched the first podcast with Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart. That shit inspired the hell out of me, yeah. bro. Kevin Hart mentality. Because I always thought Kevin Hart, oh, he's just Kevin Hart, you know, just laughing. Mm -hmm. He's a comedian, shit like yeah. that. And I hear him speak, bro. Like, he's moving. He, he's got this ideology. Like, like people just be hating. This, like, I just love his mentality. Yeah. And I'm like, dog, I need to start switching up my mentality. And that's when I started uh, putting down the social media. I started journaling. And I remember the first time I ever journaled, and this is a big thing for me. When I first journaled, I was like, who would have thought I bought a fucking diary? That's what I call it. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, this yeah, is yeah. a diary, bro. Uh -huh, I really yeah. just got a diary. Uh -huh. And then I would go on and off about the journal, and I would do it sometimes, I wouldn't do it sometimes. 
and then um, I really started doing it every day when I started reading Atomic Habits because I wanted to like I want to start journaling more and now when I think about the journals it's like bro like I'm gonna look back when I'm when I'm 45, 50, I'm gonna look back at my journals. I'm like, this is what I was thinking when I was 19. This is what I was thinking when I was 20. Kind of like this, how this podcast thing. Yeah. I look at it that way too, that we're just gonna be talking and we're gonna see how I was thinking, what I was thinking, what I thought was right, what I thought was wrong. Uh-huh. Um, and we don't know it all. And sometimes I find myself, I'm like, maybe I'm doing this right, but now we don't know it all. And like, it's that term, what's that quote? Like, ignorance is bliss or. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's something like this. something yeah, yeah. like and that. Where, yeah, yeah, and um, but yeah, my thing right now is just, bro. I'm just asking questions. I'm just trying to learn. I'm just following my dream. I I opened up a relationship with God now. I started uh, didn't believe in God at all. And now we. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, uh, and it's an interesting. The Bible is very interesting. I don't. I still question some things. Uh-huh. I, uh, I read some things I'm like nah I'm like I'm sorry but I can't believe that right now yeah. but the point is is that I started a relationship with it and, uh, and I'm happy about it that's but, good yeah 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 we gotta put on the shade now man we gotta put on the shades that's all glistening what <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you what are you most excited for for life cause we're cause like we're 20 right and I also feel like, especially when you get out of high school, bro, it's like, what's next? What are you doing? Like, like the, I guess society has made it seem like, hey, you gotta fucking decide what you're gonna do right now, or else, like, not knowing, if you ask someone what you wanna do, like, at 21, 22, 23, people are like, damn, you still don't know? But the truth uh-huh. is, is, I feel like, when you hit 30, no, not when you, I don't know, I don't know. But the point is, I'm trying to make is like, it's not a bad, it's not a bad answer to not know what you wanna do at this young age, but... Yeah. And I'm guilty of this myself. I feel like I have to know already. Yeah, and oh my gosh, I'm the same way because I, like, my friends tell me this all the time because I'm always, especially over the past year, Uh ever since my my mindset's kind of changed, I like always bring shit up to them and I'm like, like, I just feel so lost. Or like, I have, I don't know what I'm, like, I don't know what I should be doing differently, or I just feel like I'm, I'm not in the right. Uh, state of mind right now and then they're always like dang like you're only 20 yeah, yeah or like and they're like you you have so much time to figure it out and and in my mind I'm like yeah but I also like I don't want to be I don't want to not do anything with my life right now or maybe not like waste time basically. yeah I don't want to like waste time mm-hmm. and like um like Earlier, earlier you brought up how people who aren't happy with where they are in life, like they're, it's because they haven't been doing shit. But and like, I feel that same way a lot as well. But also, like we should we shouldn't be guilty of that because we we shouldn't be focusing on the past. Now we should be focusing on what we can do yeah. now mm-hmm. in the present to help ourselves in the future. Yeah. And um, it's like that one that one quote: "Get past the past," mm. you know. And so, just because you haven't been doing stuff correctly or you haven't been doing anything with your life recently, doesn't mean that you should you should let that affect you now. Yeah. And now, now, because because now you can make the changes that you want in order to make yourself better for the future, mm. and for and for so many different reasons. Because yeah. I know. There's there's been tons of people either why they're physically wise or whether they're artists or they start a new job and they're they're in like their fifties or sixties or even seventies and eighties and they start something new and then they become a, a variety of different things. They could either become famous or they, they could become rich or they could become a new a different person and influence millions of others. Mm-hmm. And it, it goes to show you like it's never too late. So like even if we or when we become successful off of this, mm-hmm. in the future, we we don't feel like we want to keep going down this path. That doesn't mean that's the end. Mm. You know what I mean? It just means that there's new beginnings. Yeah. 
would you say, like right now, you're happy? Uh, or do you feel like, actually, yeah, let me just know something. Why well, I I would say no because it took me that long to answer that shit, but mm. but uh there there are things that like I'm happier with am I where I want to be no mm. so well you do do you think we should be seeking happiness yeah yeah I think yeah I think so mm-hmm. because you definitely don't want to be seeking distraught and sadness mm. but um. Yeah, I do believe we should be seeking happiness. I do believe that we should be seeking kindness and and influencing ourselves with with better people around us. Because if you're, you know, if you go to a job or you're with a group of friends who every time you hang out with them or every time you go to your job, you, you know, you just feel like you're in a pit of misery or like you're not happy with where you're at. Like you gotta, you gotta recognize that and and be like, you know what, like, this isn't right. Even if you're, even if you're making, like, if it's a job and you're making a lot of money, but you're not happy with where you're at, like, mm-hmm. like, you shouldn't be forcing yourself to slave for, for money when you, you can't even get your mentals right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the same thing with friends. Like, if you, like, you got to recognize, even if they're your childhood friends, you freaking, you grew up with them in your neighborhood, or you went to school together and stuff, yeah. and, you know, they're, they're just, they're leading you, not only when you hang out with them, you're unhappy, but they're leading you into uh, a part of your life that you shouldn't be going to, you got to recognize that, like, you got to let them go. Mm-hmm. Even if you do love them, you got to recognize that, you know, they're not right for you, and, the, and that you got to let them go. Mm-hmm. And that's part of the sacrifices that you that you make in life, that uh, change you and create yourself into a, a beautiful creation of a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I would say, I would say I am happy right now. I definitely want more, mm-hmm. but my state of mind is I'm, I'm I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy that I. Well, I'm happy that um, I, I'm starting this this journey. I like making yeah. YouTube videos. Um, I'm happy when I edit the videos. I'm mm-hmm. happy uh, the fact that I wake up. I'm like, man. I, during, also during the pandemic, I really started practicing gratitude because I would oh. always take a lot of shit for granted. And, yeah. But now it's just, man, just waking up, that shit's huge to me now. And um, definitely I do want more. And sometimes I do, so like, you know how, like, I'm 20 right now, and when February, I mean, my birthday, my 21st birthday is February 25th. I wanna, with the new year coming in, I wanna be fucking so, I wanna be the best shape in my life. And sometimes I'm like, okay, I'll be happy when that happens, when I'm 21 and I'm fit now and oh shit like that, gosh. but I'm not realizing. I have such a the bad good thing, issue with that. The thing that I'm going on right now, me too. I mean, when I was, when I remember when I first started the gym, it was, oh man, when I lose weight, I'm gonna be so happy, you know what I mean, oh. or whatever. And like I said, again, my state of mind was, I'm happy, right? But then again, you're not always gonna be fucking happy. Like you're not, that's uh-huh. not the constant, like there's, there's gonna be some fucking hard truths that hit you in life, right? Exactly. But I always look at it an optimistic mindset and I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, it, it is, it's good and bad. It's not necessarily good or bad, but it's good and bad. Because the reason why it's good is because then you you keep pushing yourself and, and improving on things that you may not have believed could have been there and the opportunities for you before. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, when, when I first started working out, I, I would be like, oh, like, man, once I lose this, like how you were just talking about, yeah, like, yeah. when I lose this belly fat, I'm going to be happy. And that's all I want. Like, I would I make shit like that happen. But once I did that, it'd be like, oh, well, now, now I want to get big. Now I want to grow my muscles. Yeah. And then and then you think to yourself, oh, yeah, once that happens, then I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. And then you do that, and you're like, um, well, I want to I wanna tweak this part of my body. And, and then you, you kind of – so that's that's the way that is, that is good and bad for, your, for you because 
the way that it's bad is because you got to appreciate yourself. You got to appreciate yourself for who you are right now. Mm -hmm. And even, even if you're not where you want to be, you still got to be, uh, you still got to be happy that you're able to be in this, this type of, of shape in your life that you are. Mm -hmm. And that's not just, that's just not, that's not just calling for physically wise as well. You know, that's everything. That can be for financials as well. And when you said, I'm sorry to cut you off, but when you said, uh, because you, you kept talking about, oh, when I lose this belly fat or, oh, when I get this big. But then when that shit happens and when you do complete that, it's now like, damn, I'm big, but my, my habits are bad. I'm not eating good. And exactly. you start looking at that and you're like, oh, fuck, I have to get approval there. Uh-huh. Or uh, um, I'm still smoking. I'm still drinking. Okay, when I go sober, I'll finally feel good. You know what I mean? So there, you always, yeah. and it, it, that's what life is. You're never going to get to a point where uh-huh. you're fucking, this is it. This is the ultimate me. Uh-huh. But... So yeah, I think that's where you gotta appreciate, uh, appreciate who you are right now, and uh, what do you? I guess right now, what's what do you seek right now? Well, I, I seek a um, a better me, mm-hmm. you know, all across the board. Um, I would say I would definitely like gratitude is one of the things I need to improve upon. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely a mindset change, because I'll still. Cause we'll have conversations like this, and man, I feel so good after. I feel yeah. so good, and it'll, it'll set, it'll ass. set, yeah, it'll set the yeah, rest ass. of my day up. Yeah, and the rest of my day is great. It's mm-hmm. amazing. But then I'll wake up the next morning, and I, and then I'm, I'm kind of out where I was before, and so I recognize that I'm like, fuck, you know, that this is something I need to change. Yeah. Or you gotta discipline yourself. Yeah, I really, I gotta discipline myself, and mm-hmm. it's for the better, and not discipline yourself. And. Like you, you gotta, you know, you gotta do things in life that suck sometimes that you're not gonna want to do, but it's, yeah. it's in order for for a better future. Yeah. And so you know, like a, a another thing that I need to prove upon is like procrastination. Like I procrastinate like a motherfucker, like yeah. so bad. Yeah. And so I'll be like, oh, like you know, when I get home, I'm gonna clean my room, or when I get home, I'm a I'm a journal, and then after I journal, I'm gonna study. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do my flashcards. Yeah. And then I'll I'll get home. I might make myself a meal or something, and, and then I'm like, okay, well, while I just made my meal, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the dishes after I journal, and then I'll journal or something, and then I'm like, uh, well, then I'll just go on my phone for a couple minutes, and then I'll go on my phone, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I'll get the timer that pops up that says remind me in 15 minutes or one. I'll be like, okay, just 15 more minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go on my phone, and then it's like, next thing you know, I'm on youtube or whatever for like an hour or two yeah. hours or something yeah. and then now i'm i think to myself well ugh, well it's getting kind of late now now i think i should go to bed mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so now i i just i only got done one out of one out of the three things that i should have been getting done yeah and so now you go to bed with this mindset like ugh, well i'm i'm not really proud of what i did today yeah and then you wake up the next morning and you already have this this negative intrusive thought in your head and now you still got to do the shit that you should have been done that should have been done yesterday yes, mm-hmm. and so it kind of starts off your day not in the greatest way and it, it, it doesn't set your mind up your mind for the rest of the day uh, to say not really you, like you, you don't wake up thinking what's next you think Oh, what do I need to do? Mm-hmm. Like from yesterday, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, and would you say so? Hearing that, and when you go into sleep and you realize, fuck, I, 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 I fucked up today, right? Uh-huh. I didn't do what I wanted to do, and then you think about, it, you know, right now, you just told me it was because of YouTube, it was because of the apps or whatever. Why do you think we, we still, for example, like okay. I know why I didn't do good, but I'm not gonna go to my phone and delete. I'm not. I'm not deleting Instagram. I'm not deleting Snapchat. Yeah. I'm not deleting YouTube. Why do you think that is? Like, why do you think we don't do it? Even though we know where the problem is, do you think it just lack, like weak mentality, lack of lack of discipline? I think since we go to to I'm, social media yeah. for sorry, I think since we go to social media for comfort and for since it it helps us 
feel like we're doing something maybe not something productive but it helps us like we we think we're doing something at least yeah um that um, that it's that if we if we delete let's say let's say i i I, okay let's say i have instagram snapchat and youtube installed Mm -hmm. the way that i kind of think of it at times is like okay if well if i delete this then I'm not going to be happy because I'm going to be doing shit that I don't want to do. Mm. And, th- and then ultimately I-, I don't have somewhere to go where, where I can feel comfortable. I feel like that that's an issue that I experience a lot or like if I'm on my phone and then like the 15 minutes thing comes up and then it's like, oh, fuck, now I got to go do this. That's, mm. that's the bad mentality that I have. Mm. It's not, Oh, I get to do this or, doing this will oh, make me better yeah, I see what you're it's it's oh, now i gotta go do this mm-hmm. and you you go into that you go into it with this negative mindset what why other than you know it's you like know, life's, life's good yeah, you know like i i get clock. to go do this now yeah. you know i get to go i get to go clean my room mm-hmm. you know i don't gotta worry about you know uh living in my room w- with another sibling or whatnot or mm-hmm. i don't gotta worry about you know roaches or shit running through my room and mm-hmm. and, and so I, I that's really the bad that's one of the bad mindsets that i have uh attached to me right now that i know i need to fix but i'm mm-hmm. i I'll, you, I'll, i don't really know like are you excited like are you excited for what's to come though i definitely am more yeah. excited now yes mm-hmm. before especially when i was just taking the real estate course that's the only thing I saw for myself in the future. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't that excited about it. I wasn't, when I first got into the mindset of taking, of taking a real estate course and getting into it, mm-hmm. I was extremely excited, especially when I would just drive around San Diego. I'd go into these expensive ass neighborhoods, you know, whether it's La Jolla, Rancho Santa Fe, you know, Solana Beach or whatever. And I just go around and look at houses, you know, that I love to, I still love doing that. Yeah. And, and it really, made me excited for the future but as as time went on and I, I kept taking this kept taking this course or I kept procrastinating and putting it off then I started getting into my head thinking well will I will I like it you know will I enjoy sitting at a desk cold calling people not getting results mm-hmm. potentially not getting a commission for months on end you know so that's when I started getting into my head but like um but like our first real conversation that we had recently where we just sat outside and we talked for a couple hours, you know, that really sparked, that sparked something new in me. Mm-hmm. And you know, that, that really, it changed, it changed my mindset a little bit in a way, but also it gave me, um, a, a, it gave me a new vision for my future. Yeah. And so, but yeah, it kind of touches base on like on like what I said earlier about how when I discover something new, and because uh, what because remember what we were talking about the night before that we were gonna go out we were gonna go out with the homies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we were gonna go. Out I was thinking homies. about this the other day. Mm-hmm. We we're gonna go out. We we're probably gonna get drunk or whatever. Yeah. Or do whatever. Or make a funny video. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I was like, well, Mario, but if it doesn't go. Like, because we were talking about getting a driver or something, mm-hmm. or, or who was going to drive or not, yeah, or what what we were even going to do. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, look, if this doesn't go through, let's just meet up tomorrow and talk. Yeah. Or, or you said some shit like, I don't know, I don't know who said it, but that that but the was. The point is that we got together, we still we, we talked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that kind of it made me realize, like, yeah. man, if that didn't happen, we we wouldn't be here right now, or, or I wouldn't have this new set of ideas in my head mm, for the okay. future mm-hmm. you know what I mean? yeah um i got i got motivated when we talked too i mean um because i finally the way i see it is like i finally found someone that has the same mindset wants to improve i finally found someone that um because listen i grew up around my i grew up around a, a squad of my friends and I love my homies to death, but it's like, 
I don't know. I don't get those conversations. I don't get those conversations out of them. I don't get. Uh, sometimes like, I feel kind of. I get clown, you know, for whatever for whatever yeah. reason, uh-huh. for whatever whether it be my mentality changing, whether it be yeah. this, whether it be that. Uh-huh. So now that I finally found someone, I'm like, all right, he wants to do he wants to do shit, bro. He wants to be better. He wants to be that, just like me. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's 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 work together. And don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that I want kiss asses on my corner though all the time. Yeah. It's just the fact that like I'm happy I found someone that is, is, wants to share it, wants like that says it out to the world that believes it because uh-huh. usually like if you keep stuff in your head, like, do you really believe it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, and I was like the same way like with you. Because like my friends, they've always been supportive. Mm. And like they've like they will help me if I'm in a mental rut. But they we didn't really share the same ambitions, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was a cool thing about you because we share the the same this same set of ambitions where we, we want we want to be the best that we can be at life. All across the board. And so you know that I, dog, we met each other at in and out yeah <laughs> like, who knows <laughs> yeah you know? but, yeah it's crazy i mean um yeah man uh but let's 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 finish this first app but at the end you said we're talking about ambitions right now you just finished your last point with ambitions so right now to top this off i wanted to say our ambitions right now is 20 years old as mm-hmm. a 20 year old kid and then also, so ambitions and aspirations, and where we're at right now. So um, I can go first. My my ambition, I'm gonna be a fucking YouTuber. Uh, I want to have an empire and uh, well, YouTube. I love YouTube. I love making skits. I love making uh, vlogs. Uh, I like podcasts. Uh, I like motivating people in any way. I like make. I like I like the funny shit too. It's not just motivation. Like I love the funny shit. I want to. I think acting is dope. I want to do something with acting. I want to collab with people. That's one branch of the empire. The second branch of the empire is clothes. I fuck with clothes. I want to. I want to have my own men's team, my own women's team, like a team all together, and then we uh, we brainstorm together, shit like that. You know what I mean? Have a team. I want to do clothes. And then I also want to do coffee. I'm into coffee. And that's part of the reason why I work at a coffee shop is because I'm learning. I want to learn about the coffee business. I even, I just asked my Rob, I just asked my boss yesterday. His name is Rob. I'm like, Rob, um, when you do, when you close off deals, do you do it on, on the phone or do you do it in person? He's like, both. I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, next time you close off a deal or next time you just go order something, can I come with? I want to come with so I'm around that type of environment. I'm, Ooh, I'm learning exactly the language. Right. I'm doing it. Like, I'm interested in learning that shit. So I want to do coffee. I got a, I got a little idea, but I don't want to put it out yet. You know what I mean? I don't want to put it out yet. And uh, so I, those are my three branches that, are, that I'm thinking of as of right now. And that I'm going to do. But right now, that's, uh, that's the ambitions. I'm excited for this shit. Uh, but where I'm at right now, I work, I work at... This place, Baba Coffee, pull up, proud of them. All right, I got Baba Coffee, and then I work at Paxson, and I'm going to school, and I, that's a whole other conversation. I, I want to do all this, but I'm still in school. So do I really believe in myself, or do I just, I love learning, but I don't know, that's a whole other conversation that we're going to, but I'm also in school right now. Um, next semester, I'm beginning two associates in uh, sociology, and uh, I'm happy right now. I, I'm happy, obviously I want more, I definitely want more. Uh, I think it's always want more, but never be greedy. But I definitely want more. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm not happy. I'm not like I love to clown with people. I love to make people laugh and shit like that. So I'm I'm happy right now. Um, I definitely want more. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. So ambitions, so, and then where you at right now? All right. So so ambitions. I love to be involved. Uh, I kind of already said this in the beginning, but like go I, ahead, I, ahead, I, I want to be. Say that shit to the I want to be. I, 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 I don't I'm want not, to be going to be. Not, I'm not All right, so I, I want to be invested in the real estate market in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, I love to to find a a purpose with my with my physical embodiment in the future, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and and just 
through through exercise and through the gym, you know, find find a find something new. Yeah, that's a big thing. Find something new and, and run with it. Uh, I want to. It, I'd love to have a restaurant, like a health food restaurant, that also could be converted with a lounge. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. I love to. I love to find peace in life. You know, I I want I want to I want a beautiful family. I love to go home and be able to see my wife and my kids, and we'd be at peace. Oh yeah. I want to have I want to have my own crib that I design in the yeah. spot where I want it. Yeah. And where I am in life right now, I currently, I finished my real estate course recently. I take my exam, my salesperson exam on the 28th. I work at two restaurants right now, the Privateer in Oceanside and Ventana in Escondido. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, that's where I'm at. And I'm just trying to become the best that I can be physically right now as well. <laughs> and mentally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I, I want to add this because uh, you you talking about you want to find peace. Um, obviously peace, I love that. But I also I I really like uh, freedom. Oh um, my god, travel! I'm man. sorry, I, I can't believe I left that out. Yeah, yeah I want to yeah, travel I... like a motherfucker. I, like I first I want to you know travel in a van across the United States, and then after I would definitely love to get some years under my belt in Europe or a different country. But I definitely want to just be able to be like, yeah, you know what? Today I'm going to go over here. And I just love traveling. I think that's just dope. And I'm not infatuated with the money. I'm just, I just can't fathom the fact. I just, I won't knock you if this is what you want to do. But I personally just do not want to be at one place for eight hours a day for basically half my life. I just cannot. I'd rather, I want to be, uh-huh. that's why YouTube is so dope to me because I can work while I'm moving. Exactly, um, yeah. Having a team for clothing, I can, I, I can trust them while I'm moving. I can, um, with the coffee shop, I, I can look at, like, I can be there, but I don't have to be there all the time. Because uh-huh. I want I don't, that's not what I see. Yeah. That's why I want to do so many things that way. Yeah, obviously you can think about it, like I have more sources of income and shit. But no, to me, it's just like the fact that I, I can keep moving. Exactly. That's what I love. Uh-huh. Because when your life is fun... And you work mm-hmm. when you work down, down. You, when you work with fun. That fun creates funds. Mm, mm. That's new. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, low key, we might. I, I, I've been kind of stopping smoking, but who, who knows? Who no, knows? No, we, we, might, we might a little chill or something. Next know, time we, we might, talk tight shit, know, we might. But we might involve that tight shit. Hey, hey but hey, this is a big start of something new. I love you, brother. Love you too, you know, turn up, yes sir. Come with us for the ride, bro. We gonna be up one day. Trust. Look at, look at this setup, man. If there's a will, there's a way. <laughs>